one of the most important things when you plant your seed corn is that it all comes out of the ground. Well, if you look on the tag, like Darren said earlier in the show, it's gonna give you a warm germination percentage. Honestly, that doesn't tell you diddly squat when it comes to very cold soils and the fact that they're wet. And you know what? You might even get some snow on that ground and the ground then turns even colder. How is your seed going to perform in those situations? That's the reason why we would encourage you take your seed and send it into a lab for a different type of test. What Brian's talking about here is running a saturated cold germ test on your seed. Now, when you hear those words saturated and cold, wow, that's really been like the season that we had in 2019, right? So you say, I don't know if we'll have that season again, but I know it will be colder than a warm germ test and it's going to be saturated. There's going to be some moisture out in that soil too in many cases. So the way they do the testing, they just take a quarter inch of soil, they'll saturate that with water and put the seeds in and then they will run that test for about a week at about a 50 degree Fahrenheit or 10 degree Celsius soil temperature. So they'll have it very cold and very wet for a week then they'll warm things up for somewhere between two to four days. Now this varies a little bit lab to lab, somewhere in the 70 to 80 degree Fahrenheit range. So really warm and ideal conditions for a few days. How did that seed survive being in the cold and wet environment for quite a while? We're talking about this today for two main reasons. Number one is we believe there's a lot of seed corn out on the market today that will not stand cold soil temps and you don't know when you buy it you're going to have to take your own test, your own sample, send it in for analysis and figure it out. The other reason why we're talking about this today is I am absolutely not a believer when you hear the words imbibitional chilling. People will say, oh, the first drink of water that that seed takes, if it's cold, that's bad and you're really going to hurt that seed. I absolutely don't think that is correct. And I can prove that by running the saturated cold germ test. So the whole thing here is we just want you to take the seed that you buy, try to bring it in early, send it in for analysis and figure out will this stuff survive in my cold soils. Now, if let's say you bought 10 different varieties this year and eight of them work and two of them have a terrible cold score, you have two choices. Either you can send those two varieties back to whatever seed company it was or you could just say, you know what, I'm going to plant these other eight varieties in my colder soils and the last two fields I plant are going to have these two varieties that don't stand that cold temp very well. Well, it is one extra step. I understand that. But you're planting seed blind otherwise if you don't run this test on your farm. And you think about that, you throw out seed, what could that saturated cold germ test tell you? We've seen many samples over the last few years where we get saturated cold germs down at 50% or even less that's scary if you only get a half a stand out there. There were a lot of stand complaints in 2019 and in 2018. I think many of these situations could have been prevented by just running a saturated cold germ test and knowing what you were planting up front. Here's the challenge and here's one of the reasons why seed companies don't do this in many cases and even the ones that do don't publish the results because the standards are slightly different when you go lab to lab. There isn't a standard procedure that every lab follows so those results could be slightly different since there isn't that industry standard. We realize that you have probably bought seed corn your whole life and probably never pulled samples out and sent them in for analysis, but we're really encouraging you to do that. When you do, it's probably going to be eye-opening and it's going to make you money in some cases because you may identify some seed you absolutely shouldn't plant in cold soil. Well, no matter what seed you plant in the field, if you want to be successful, you've got to take care of our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music>